I create art for people that are ready for a change. I create art for conscious people who have conscious thoughts. I create art because I can, and I say these things with my art because I can. It's part of being free. It's part of what Julian Assange and Bradley Manning and Edward Snowden have promoted in their process of exposing truth is what lies behind truth, freedom. These things are simple. When they're taken away, life gets very complicated. I think the way for people to be free uh, and the way for people to receive justice uh, is for there to be more knowledge and more truth uh, about how uh, human institutions actually behave. People tell me, why, why do you paint art that seems revolutionary or political? It's not. This art is what I believe art should be, communication about reality. For me, I have no choice. I, I, I'm not going to lie to myself. I'm not going to sit back and look at the world and pretend it's a fairy tale. I want to call this out. I want to call out what I see. This is not political art. This is not controversy. This is our reality. Why should people care about surveillance? Because even if you're not doing anything wrong, you're being watched and recorded. And the, the storage capability of these systems increases every year consistently by orders of magnitude. Uh, to where it's getting to the point you don't have to have done anything wrong. You simply have to eventually fall under suspicion from somebody, even by a wrong call. And then they can use the system to go back in time and scrutinize every decision you've ever made, every friend you've ever discussed something with, and attack you on that basis to sort of derive suspicion from an innocent life and paint anyone in the context of a wrongdoer. And so the significance of being a whistleblower is the courage to stand and inform others of what they themselves cannot see, the truth. That's a weapon. Yeah. Light them all up. Come on, fire! Hey, Roger. So when we think about, at the end of the day, unmanned aircraft flying over other people's countries and blowing up innocent people is not the American way. This is not what we believe in or stand for. When did telling the truth become a crime? When does innocence receive suffering for acknowledging truth? These are crimes, and associated crimes, you'd find in Nazi Germany, you find in totalitarian societies around the world. Some people might say, why should I care? Well, we're sentient, that's why you should care. We're sentient beings. And what happens to someone else pretty much happens to you too, whether you're conscious of it or not. Oh, it's their fault for bringing their kids to a battle. That's right. If anyone thinks that Edward Snowden, Bradley Manning, Julian Assange, Michael Hastings for that matter, if you believe these people are criminals or that they've done wrong, on the behalf of all Americans. You've obviously woke up in the wrong time period or the wrong side of the bed because uh, the people that are claiming these accusations are criminal. These people don't want you to know what's really going on. This is where maybe our conversation leaves fine art. But as a fine art, you can't separate the humanities. The, the greatest fear that I have regarding um, the outcome uh, for America of these disclosures is that nothing will change. Um, people will see in the media uh, all of these disclosures. They'll know the lengths that the, the government is going to grant themselves powers unilaterally um, to create greater control over American society and global society but they, they won't be willing to take the risks necessarily to stand up and fight to change things, to force their representatives to actually take a stand in their interests. And because of that, a new leader will be elected. They'll flip the switch, uh, say that um, because of the crisis because of the dangers that we face in the world, you know, some, some new and unpredicted threat, 
we need more authority. We need more power. And there will be nothing the people can do at that point to oppose it. Uh, and it'll be turnkey tyranny.